This is Andre with Inside EVs at IAA 2021 in Munich, Germany. And behind me is a very unusual little EV, the Aura Cat. Um, Aura is a, a sub brand of Great Wall Motor. Here are this car's specs. It's a small city car that is quite round and bubbly looking. <laughs> But it looks all right. It will look out of place on the posh roads of uh, Europe's nicest cities, like Munich, for instance. They actually did a good job with this. I'm not really sure whether or not they're going to sell it in Europe. So this is the O2 model. It has. Uh, <laughs> An absolutely useless diffuser it's there just for show but it's not powerful enough to really make it to justify it so like a GT model and if you were wondering where the rear light clusters were this is it pretty much this strip of LEDs that's all there is I think there might be some oh yeah and, and I'm assuming these oh yeah the Aura Cat. So this is basically the same model, but more uh, posh trim, I guess. Just notice this unusual little detail here. It's really cool. It has full LED lights. A little kind of uh, Porsche-esque, I guess. Let's climb aboard. It's closed? So we're inside the Aura Cat O2, I think this was called. And I don't know, I think Chinese cars have come a long way. The selector feels of good quality. It has like a knurled finish around it. The buttons, they're very well damped. Oh yeah, I could use some AC, but the uh, camera's mic probably won't enjoy it. So like a suede effect on the dash this uh, mercedes like twin screen setup i think it's pretty good yeah good very good i'm impressed yeah you wouldn't expect oh oh i spoke too soon this is soft touch oh wow pretty good so is china gonna take over the world well, if they keep improving on making their cars, they just might. It's actually pretty impressive. And I sat in um, one of these earlier in the back and there's a surprising uh, amount of leg room and knee room and it's a very roomy car for its wheelbase. And still at the Aura stand. This vehicle that owes a lot to Porsche and the, the Panamera in particular is also called the Aura Cat. Let's see what its specs are. Not a bad looking thing. Just want to go around the car. Thank you. <laughs> I was waiting for you to take your photo. Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm here all day. Okay, excellent. So these are the specs. So this design is a total rip-off of the previous generation Porsche Panamera, especially in this whole area here. It's, it's not a bad looking thing, although the rear is slightly more um, Chinese, I would say. But it's a cool looking thing. Is it unlocked? Will it be unlocked later? Um, it's a good question. I can ask you maybe for uh, for a camera. So this is the inside. Looks concepty, but it's production ready by the looks of it. Seems to have all the buttons in all the right places. It's pretty big inside. 
lots of legroom. Can't help but notice these uh, rear light clusters. They're kind of weird. So yeah, the Aura Cat. Yeah, I think what is up on the 